All right, we got ourselves some arcs and central angles here. We want to find the measure of angle R in circle O if the measure of arc RP is 50 degrees. Unfortunately, I don't have fancy little notation here. I guess I could put that on there myself, but oh well, whatever. All right, so words will work. So arc RP is 50 degrees. So that means that this right here, that's 50 degrees. Now we know that the arc is equal to the measure of the central angle. So that's also 50 degrees. Awesome. Okay. Well, how am I going to find the measure of angle R, which is right here, only knowing one angle of a triangle? Hmm. Well, I do know that this is a circle. And in a circle, my radii are congruent. So OR and OP would be congruent. Now, if those two are congruent, wouldn't that mean that my base angles are also congruent? So R and P are equal to each other. Well, if 50 degrees is already accounted for, out of a total of 180 in a triangle, that leaves me with 130. Now, if R and P have to be the same thing, that means I'm gonna have to take 130 divided by two, which gives me 65 for each, so 65 degrees. Boom, that's my answer. You know, that was so much fun. Let's do another arc and angle problem. Okay, what is the degree measure of an arc that is seven tenths of a circle? Well, how many degrees are there in a circle? There's 360 degrees in a circle. If I want seven tenths of that, I'm going to multiply by 7 tenths. Woo! So if we want to mental math this thing, I can divide by 10 first. And that's going to leave me with 36 times 7. And then, oh boy, that's a little bit that's a little bit tricky. Um, how about this? 30 times 7 is 210. 6 times 7 is 42. That's going to give me 252. That's how you mental math that bad boy right there with that weird looking 2 thing. I don't know. That's a little better. Okay. Oh, God. Now I have two different 2s. Oh, geez. All right. I better stop. I better stop. Plus, Jenny's whining. What up, Jenny? All right. You guys have a wonderful day. See you.